So recently I made a video about an enclosure for a 3D resin printer. In this video we'll take a closer look at the small UV curing station. So I like woodworking and used some scrap pieces of MDF for this project, but you can make a UV box from simple objects like a metal bucket, plastic box or even a modified microwave, which I think is one of the best solutions out there. So here you can see the dimensions I used. The box is rather small because my printer has a small bolt volume. After cutting some MDF scrap pieces, I added a small rebate to the base to get a stronger glue bond. Next, I clamped the pieces together and let it dry overnight. The next day, I roughly added a top, which I later cut off at a 30 degree angle. The angled part will hold the UV light, so I marked out the shape and drilled out the corners of the hole with a large drill bit. Next, I used a jigsaw to cut out the straight lines and did some sanding. I added a quick chamfer to the inside with sandpaper. A flat sanding stick was used for the straight lines and a large dowel for the rounded corners. Next I glued the missing piece in place with wood glue and added some weight to hold it down until the glue dried. I roughly cut off the excess and then added some small strips to the inside to thicken up the sides. Next I marked out the front door, which will have a small window. For the window I used a whole saw like this. Next I cut the straight lines with a jigsaw, but I don't cut exactly on the line, so I can sand away the final material and get a smoother finish. I used a rabbiting bit along the edge of the hole, so I can later fit a piece of plexiglass. Next I removed some material to make space for a piano hinge, and with that the box is ready for paint. I used a paint roller for the first coat and then a spray can for the final finish. Next I cut out a window from a piece of 5mm plexiglass with a hacksaw, which was then sanded to the final size. To protect my eyes from the UV light I'll be using one of these colored plastic sheets behind the plexiglass. I got this idea of using the opposite color of violet to make a good UV filter. It should be something like a yellow green tone, but I'm not a scientist so don't take my word for it. In the end I used two sheets of green and one sheet of dark blue, which I've cut out with a knife using the plexiglass as a template. I couldn't help myself and added some of these self-adhesive leathers to the plastic. These are quite old so it was nice to use them once more just for fun. And I even made a Dymo label with a safety note. <laughs> Next the plastic sheets were added to the door and the plexiglass was mounted with some fine screws. I installed the piano hinge to the door and then attach the door to the box. I drilled some holes for magnets and glued them in place with 5 minute epoxy. Then a handle was screwed in place and the magnet seems to work fine. And this is the UV light I'll be using. It uses LEDs and is rated at 60 watt. I took it apart and will replace the screws with these longer ones. That way I can install it onto the MDF box. Some pieces of felt adhesive were put on the underside to avoid scratches. Next I used a leftover piece of reflective radiator foil to cover the inside. And to glue it in place I squeezed out the last bit of polymer glue left in the tube. Then the foil is glued in place. I installed the final piece to the ceiling and we're all done. Oh no, we're not done. I'll be using one of these solar powered turntables inside the box. So I want to make some sort of sliding tray for it so I can load it with printed parts with less effort. I used a piece of vinyl floor tile and marked out the contour. Next I used a hand router to remove some material. I also added a small hand grip to pull out the tray. Then I painted it black with a spray can. It seemed a good idea to make it reflective as well, so I went with... Let's try Vallejo Chrome. I used the airbrush to build up some thin layers. And in the end it looked more like a dull aluminum than chrome, but I guess it was worth a shot. Next I installed the turntable. And the fit was great, it falls right into place and doesn't move at all. and the tray slides in like this.
At first, the box just stood inside the enclosure. But by mounting it to the back wall, I could free up some extra space for things like IPA. So that's pretty much it. Hope you liked the video. Many thanks for watching and see you next time.